G'day guys, welcome back. We're in the Corona studio today. Glorified garage, all the fun things. Oh, oh what a treat. Yeah. Been thinking about that for Wendy for a while. Let me just flick this here. Okay, now, couple of things, couple of things. Great thing at the moment is the uh, weather right now is so cold that you can reuse your paint because it's not actually drying that fast, which is fun. Hello, Victoria. Hey, how you doing? How are you doing? You know, this brush is a little bit ruined, but I may have one. I may have one. What if God was one of us? Give me a moment, T. I'm just going to try and go wash these brushes. I want to use these same ones again. This one's usable, but these two got a little bit too dry. Hey, Tom. Hey, guys. Hey, Bink. Um, give me just a moment, guys. I'll be back and wash the brush. Sorry for disappearing first on the stream, guys, but I wanted these three brushes and now I've got them working. Bing! Here we are. Right. Let's have a look at these. I should have a cloth down here. Do indeed. Uh, last night was pretty fun, actually, guys. All the art was uh, up around the studio, and so we had a less of an exhibition. Wild. How's the weather? The weather's terrible right now. It's hammering down. Auckland is having a terrible time. Um, Toad on my hair. Nothing bad happening where I'm at, but uh, jeepers. Lots of rain, guys. Hey, T. Welcome. Welcome. A couple of interesting brushes here, guys. We've got a small one, a medium one and a large one. Paranoia strikes deep into your life it will be Boom, 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 boom. Here we go. Cool, I'm gonna be on the big brush. I want the blues. Here we go. Yum. Give me those blues and then I'd like to have, it's over here on the trolley, Clear paint and medium. This is what we're after. Clear paint and medium. It's going to make the paint more transparent. Is it a 60 minute again? Um, we might push up around the mark of 120 minutes this time. So since we're just adding layers to some paintings we're working on, we won't be doing a 60 minute quick fire session. But I'll tell you what, I enjoyed the quick fire session. I thought that was pretty cool. So. Definitely an advocate for doing that again. Oh, still working on this? Yes, MC. Indeed. So, a little bit of transparent gel, a little bit of blue, make it see through. Then we're just going to add this where we think it belongs. Here we go. Just a bit of a blue sheen in a few of these areas. 
fact, to get these colors looking a little more correct to the uh, subject matter. Hey, hey, my friend, JW, how we doing? It is raining, it's hammering down. Uh, is this the painting you don't know what to add? This is, a, this is the painting that's in a weird little space. Um, but look, hey, at the end of the day, I feel like it's slowly coming on around in the right direction. We just have to keep building on it. Keep building. Keep trusting that we keep adding paint when we see it, that the image and the way we want to show it will start popping out. That's the goal. That's the goal. I think it will, guys. I think it can't help to. Paranoia strikes deep into your life, it will creep. Um, Shelby's taking me out to Avatar 2, the uh, way of water. So that will be happening later on, but for right now, you have my undivided attention, team. <laughs> Great shirt, mate. Be careful. Oh, don't you worry. Don't you worry. I'm good with the old man. I'll do my very best not to get all over this shit, even though I've already got a few little splats on me. So, here we are. Um, Victoria, yeah, it goes over 400, so it's shocking. It goes at 400. This is on me. This was a problem when you don't read the whole uh, chat. Try and link into little parts of it. Here we go, beautiful. So this is just blue. Got some clear painting medium through it. Removing the intensity of the colour, just allowing us to wash it on, to slightly alter the hue and the tone of a few little areas in this painting. Here we go, maybe a bit more. Beautiful, just through here. Just like that. Now we're talking, just like that. Do your homework. Said it before, go around the edges. How are we doing? Seb, are you affected by the heavy rain? Auckland is flooded, I've seen the pictures, it's wild. Um, no, I haven't been affected. So, I looked down here in Tauranga, now there are a few of the roads around me, yep, they're out, but uh, as for me, I'm fairly unaffected because I'm at home. Thank you very much, guys, appreciate that. Um, <clears throat> if you do love the work too guys and you want to connect more, there's a link in the bio and Linktree will take you to all the places that you'd like to go. Here we are. Perfect. I'm using the bigger brush. We're just adding on paint where we think it is. Just having some fun with it at the moment guys. Sometimes, <clears throat> sometimes when you lose the track, oh, thanks Roman, you absolute champion. Um, sometimes when you lose the track of a painting, or life in general, the thing you're missing, at least with painting, the thing that can be missing, is you forgot to have fun while you painted it. And sometimes that just forgetting to have fun might be the one little thing that's holding your painting off from going from good to great. Sometimes with the warrior it's not turning out exactly like you wanted it. That straining of the process is the next thing you do. And that's the one thing that stops it from being able to be what it wants to be. So yes, we want this painting to look and feel a certain way. But no, they're not going to put anything in the way of enjoying actually making it. How many paintings have you painted, JW? It's a big question. I wouldn't know the uh, exact number. But um, there's been a few. There's definitely been a few. <laughs> Hear that rain? Yeah. The rain's coming down. So it's raining here, but it's not nearly as devastating as it has been in other parts of the country that have had water hammering down on them. 
flooding, all sorts of things. There we go. There we go. We're gonna add some yellow to it. Beautiful, beautiful girls all over the world. I could be chasing, but my mind would be racing. The sound of rain is so calming. If only we'd appreciate it by Sim stopping his incessant singing. Can't help you, sorry guys. I'm gonna keep doing it. Now we'll be chasing, my mind will be racing. They got nothing on you, baby. Nothing on you, baby. Alright, so this is a much more bright tan. It's very vibrant. I've added a little bit of uh, a little bit of yellow through it. So it's increased its potency more towards an orangey, orangey, lovely pastel yellow tan. It's going to add into the spots where we see it. Did the flood affect your house or workplace? No, it did not. Roman, thank you so much for the roses. You're an absolute champion. I really appreciate it. At the club, have a good morning. All right, you absolute wildcat. You enjoy the club. I did. I'm doing like a club that like Akon would go to. It's pretty exciting. Good for you. It's a uh, party party. I'll stick to my studio, but I like the fact that you're doing it. Beautiful girls all over the world. My heart would be chasing, but my mind would be racing. There's got nothing on you, baby. Nothing on you, babe. Alright, there we go. I'm just keep adding this on. Just the way you see it, guys. Building up those layers bit by bit. Missed a few things there. Uh, let's. I think I'm following. How much are your paintings usually? They chop and change a fair bit. There's no paintings currently available. Um, everything happening right now is commission based. I need to, uh, hopefully this year, I'll get a chance to really sit down and start to formulate a um, collection to share with you guys. But at the moment, we've had a really special uh, time making other people's pictures sort of come to life. Um, we will definitely come back though and see what might feel right to be a commission? Uh, what might feel right to be a uh, unique one off painting? But these commissions that have been coming in have been so fun. They're actually, I haven't really wanted to pursue my own image for a while. The dog recently, it was a real throw. Beautiful girls all over the world. I could be chasing, but my mind would be racing. <laughs> Cheers, JW. Still at work, so I got to go. Please, people, don't be heading to the modes. <laughs> Cheers, Eddie. Hey, thanks for popping in briefly. Appreciate it. And uh, yeah, have fun at work. So, this red's really punchy. It's like a cerulean. You know, it's a little bit of a shirt here. Really popping off. A little bit here. There we go. Beautiful. Gonna add a little bit of his arm here. Just realise in those areas that you see it's red. Add it on the shape of it. Don't worry if it's a hand. Don't worry if it's a head. Don't worry if it's an arm. Don't worry if it's a face, smile, whatever it is, ignore that. Just look at the shapes you see. That's so important. The shapes and the tones of those shapes. Hmm. My uh, brush is losing a few bristles. I'm just pulling them out. There we go. So currently we're looking for red shapes, or at least things that would be a red hue that we can uh, Red tone and we can add this in as a different hue. We're just going to keep building that up. 
See where that takes us. Here we go. Beautiful. A little bit around here. Wonderful. Up here in the hand. That's nice. Perfect. Hola. Welcome, guys. You're all welcome on the stream. This is Total in the Bay of Plenty. My name is Seb. I'm an artist here in New Zealand. This is a commission for a man who lives at the Mount. For painting his three kids on the beach. We're running a little bit late on this commission. But part of that's because I want to get to a place where I really like the picture. And so that's taken a few extra layers, more than expected. But we'll get this picture there. It's not leaving the studio until I'm in love with it. I can't wait. This painting looks so... Hey, thank you so much. I appreciate that. <clears throat> if you look keenly at it, you might start to see some feet down here and three bodies. There's an elder sister, a young jacker, and a brother in between. It's a lovely shot. There's a lot of love in it. Everyone's with their arms around each other. And it's just a great one for these kids to see themselves in paint as well. And see the love in the vibe and see that they have in their family. Hello, Dally and McKay. Um, really my nightmare. <laughs> So when it comes to painting, especially works of Impressionism, there will be people who love it and really resonate with the work you make. But when you have love, you'll also have dislike or hate. And if your work makes someone else not like it, then it's not the end of the world and they're very much entitled to their opinion. But you have got a responsibility, if people aren't liking it, I mean strongly disliking it, to find those will strongly like it because if you, could, if you convey emotion in one direction you can likely or hopefully convey it in the other. So when you work with an abstract style like this some people might really love it and will resonate with them and other people may not see what you see in it. And that's the beauty of being a human being guys. You're allowed to have your own tastes and like what you like. <laughs> Thanks, JW. Appreciate that. Now we're going to swap from the reds into a bit more pink. Here we go. Beautiful, thick, hot pink. There we are. Coming down this arm. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful bit in here. Nice. Coming up around this ear. Just like that. Nothing on you, baby. Here we go, beautiful. Just adding these things, guys. See where it takes us. I named the painting Three Hearts. There we go. Painting's got a name. Mm. Here we go. Just building out this pink color. See the little spots where we can add it. Remember, don't see a hand. Just see the colours and shapes that make a hand. Enjoy the process of spotting those colours and shapes. Maybe when you stand back, they'll come together in harmony and you'll see a hand. Or maybe not. It's part of the fun of paint. Beautiful girls all over the world. I could 
be chasing, I won't be racing, they've got nothing on you, baby. Nothing on you, baby. Okay, sorry for the singing, guys. I'm here to paint, but I also love to sing. So, we're doing a mixture of both. Here we go. A little bit around here. A little bit down here. Any plans for the weekend? Ooh, plans for the weekend. The hardest thing right now, I think, is the fact that it's pouring down with rain. And so a lot of the plans that I'd normally have, or that a partner would have, be cancelled because we can't go out surfing, hiking, doing all these fun activities. So we're inside bodies, secretly. I don't mind every now and again. Just secretly. Here we go, beautiful. I've combined a lot of white and with this magenta, this hot pink that we're using. I'm doing with it, so I'm just putting in these baby blue patches. Letting it be what it wants to be. Here we go, beautiful. Not controlling it, just allowing it to capture those baby blue pieces. And just really just be lots of pink over the canvas. Send the rain my way. I really enjoy seeing people run once it starts at the time of year. I like that. I like that. Yeah, the rain's coming down quite heavily here. I like the rain. Rain makes corn. Corn makes whiskey. Whiskey makes my baby. Get a little frisky. Back road, ba da da ba da 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 There we go. I'm spotting those areas, fleshing them out. I think these paint strokes are landing in just the right places, guys. I'm liking how the painting's coming together at the moment. That doesn't mean it'll continue on that trajectory. Like I say, guys, this is so important. Painting's not a uh, linear progression to a better piece of artwork. Sometimes, especially with this rougher style, you'll go up and down and up and down to slowly try and get um, improvement in a work. This work is a classic example of that. It's come up and it's come down over and over again. I'll just bring you closer. There we go, guys. So you're not so far back. It makes it easier for me to read the screen as well. Texas, welcome. I'm just going to keep realising wherever we see these little bits of pink. In the pants, in the background mainly. You want to keep focusing on that background whenever you get a chance because there's so much to capture in a detailed background. So much going on with the rippling water. So many layers that can come together. There we go, beautiful. Just going to capture a little bit down here too. There we go, out to the edge. Wonderful, that's what we need. Go around it there. Hello. Hello, I've got a red point. Yeah, hit me with it. Okay, we can either get, see here, these reclining seats. Yeah. Otherwise there's a day bed that we could go on. It's two dollars more to the day bed. I advocate day bed. You want the day bed? The big thing? Yeah. Yeah, do it. Okay. Two dollars more, nothing cheap, guys. And we've got one to sleep. I know. I'm so ready for it. I'm so excited. Okay. Thanks, yeah. shells. So the plan, guys. Prospector, since you were asking, Shelby is just buying tickets to the Avatar movie. Just kidding. No, we're not just kidding. Shelby's got tickets to the Avatar movie, and we're gonna lay down one of those sky couches, so that's where you, I think that's what it's called. Where you just lay back and watch the movie and relax. I'm gonna get some popcorn. I love water. Give me a big bottle.
bottle of water in the cinema. Don't so much like having the fizzies, but a big bottle of water will get me excited. Sit there with my popcorn. Pretty fun. It's not an all the time experience. It's definitely a some of the time experience. Definitely a fan. Move down here. Perfect. There's a hand here. I'm going to acknowledge the hand. There we go. Beautiful. Cut line down through here. Perfect. Perfect. Again, these colours, there's not a whole lot of these in the background, but adding them in is going to help the foreground and the background merge together and come together in a bit more unison. I love how many layers are in the paintings. Oh, thank you so much. I appreciate that. And Eddie, thank you. It's water and chocolate covered raisins for me. Best movie theater snack and drink, to be honest. <laughs> Lost power last night, only got back an hour ago. That's wild, Sam. That is absolutely wild. Yeah. Thanks for loving the colors, guys. I'm enjoying how this one's coming together. We'll just keep building love into it. Sounds cheesy, but we'll get it there. Got high hopes for this painting, Sam. This painting. that uh, yellow and the pink together the outcome has been this delightful funky shade of orange it's got orange with a bit too much salmon in it and we're just going to run with it and see where it takes us currently it's taking us some great places but we'll see beautiful girl all over the world I could be chasing Mine would be wasting There we go So keep adding on this orange See where it can take us so it's sort of fun we can have with it. I asked for snow. Your moderator told me to go to your bio. <laughs> I, uh, sorry, I missed a few comments there, but um, yeah, basically any link you want, guys, is in the bio. So there's a little link tree there, and whatever you're after, the link tree will help you out. And uh, yeah, otherwise you can hang out here with me. We can just add some layers onto this painting. There we go. Going on around there. Going on down there. It's going to keep building up the layers here. There we go. A little bit more around here. Coming up to here. And coming down here. There we go. Beautiful. Down his legs, down here at his toes. So we acknowledge some toes here. There we go. And down here in his foot. Both feet. Jason, I would be racing. There we go. There we go. All right, adding on the last 
last little bit of this orange paint, we'll see where it takes us. Entertained by my own thoughts. Jeepers. Not really. Bit of a boring person. You guys make it exciting. <laughs> Good day, Ash. Loving the chill vibes in here today. It's not crazy for once. It's not crazy for once. Is it normally crazy? Energy flying everywhere. Whacking on paint as fast as humanly possible. I agree with all those things. It usually is. <laughs> Cheers for the roses too, Ocean. I really appreciate that. I'm taking a slower session today then. Just adding on paint gradually. It seems to be working for this one. A softer approach. Build up layers gradually. See if we can't. Pull it into kilter. itself to start looking correct surely. Can't wait. Are you gonna do are you doing another hour on the one you started last night? Been thinking about it. I like where it's sitting at the moment. I think uh, part of its charm is that sudden blast of energy it's got. I'm thinking if I touch it again, I might lose that uh, that fun quality. It's a loose, fun, fast freestyle. And sometimes that's where the art wants to stay and reside. Not every piece of artwork wants to get strangled into being a uh, complex, layered masterpiece. Some of them want to hang out in the uh, more of a limbo area. It was definitely an adrenaline rush. <laughs> yeah, so we can do paintings faster too. Good to have a plan, obviously, but um, it definitely helped that painting because we had a system where we put on the blacks down, uh, gesso layer, blacks on, red, blue, yellow, then we cut in a bit a few shades, like our oranges and our purples and then a little bit of black, a little bit of white, and we were done. That was our 60 minutes. So that was part of the fun and how fast and furious it was, certainly. Um, so definitely anticipate that we'll do it again, 100%. Hey, hey, how are we doing one more, one more time? Good to have you here. Here we go, now. Changing into some, but I've been bone boom, blacks. And I'd be like, well, he's got enough black in this picture already. What's he doing? That's fair enough. Just gonna just pull things around a little bit more. See where we can make things land. Put through here. There we go. Brilliant. Beautiful girl. Just run the sides here, just adding on some uh, of the black. It's a Mars black, so it's not as intense as you find a normal black to be. Probably more muddy, but it's okay. It's what we want. Seb, hope your plate doesn't decide to jump out of your hands again. Sam, I mean, we run these risks. And uh, when I'm filming those reels, guys, 
I wouldn't lie to you. If I drop the plate, I add that into the reel. So I think that's hilarious. <laughs> the background's super wholesome. So the background is a uh, giant Corona billboard banner. And uh, I love it being in here. It's pretty special. And with the uh, saying at the top there, saying from where you'd rather be, which I also think is pretty special. Because in this art studio, this is where I'd rather be. So that's pretty fun. <laughs> Thanks, T. Appreciate you. Here we go. Just a little bit of black here and there. Just to build out a few of these areas. See where we can take them. The whole painting just wants a little bit of this darker color. Just to pull some shapes around. Jason, my mind would be wasted. You got nothing on you, baby. Nothing on you, baby. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Nothing on you. Okay, that's all stuck in my head, guys. I'm so sorry. Lucky the paint didn't land face down. It has occasionally. Definitely has. I'd be lying to you if I said uh, that hadn't happened a few times. A bit of a clean up job, but it is what it is. Good morning, Janet. Hello. How do you know when a painting is complete and not wanting to add anything more, Cindy? Um, it's a good question. And each artist will have their own way of discovering that answer. For me, typically, I'll leave a painting for days in the studio, leaning up against the wall, where I can see it, look at it, study it, think about it, be in the same space as it, and uh, sometimes you'll think, no, it's perfect just the way it is. And other times, you'll think, I need to add some more to this painting. So, chops and changes. So I've currently got a, uh, Hungarian Vishla, Vishla, leaning up against the wall of the studio at the moment. And I'm just staring at it, looking at all the strokes, all the places where paint is, all the places where it's not, and how the whole picture's coming together. And then, in the next day or so, we'll know, I'll spot areas I either want to change, or I'll think, no, that's perfect, just the way it is. So, that's what we're in the process of at the moment. But, uh, you may have a different system. Whatever your system is, it's fine. As long as you know, every artist has their own little way of knowing when a painting's finished. Thanks for the roses, Roman. You're an absolute champion. You're the best. Appreciate your support. Roman, you're an absolute champion. You're all fantastic, guys. It is a pleasure to be able to come here and share craft with you like this. And uh, also tolerating me. Because some days, I don't tell you what's going on. I disappear, then I come back, and then sometimes we're smashing on a quick 60 minute coat, and going like lightning, and the next time we're relaxing, 
Slowly applying paint and building up the layers. Here we go. I wouldn't mind painting. Now we're talking. And uh, your flexibility to deal with me throwing something at you at you every time is commendable, guys. It hasn't gone unnoticed. <laughs> Still adding the black on, guys, just finding little places where it can jump in. And now, I want to go to battle with some white. I'm coming out, so you better get this party started. Coming out, coming out. Alright, so, away with the big brush, and with a small brush, and then with some white. <laughs> Here we go. Right. We're just going to keep the same black on the brush. We're not going to clean the brush. I'm just going to add it straight into the blue. The black can add a little bit of a grey tone to it. That's okay. Record we'll a day there. And then we're going to splash this paint on around. Add it into where we see it. Build out these colours. Sometimes the best way to make your colours pop. So I bring a colour like grey or steely blue around them, just so you can really appreciate how saturated the other colour was. If the whole picture in its entirety is covered with bright, vibrant colours, the whole thing actually can't pop as well. What really makes it pop is that contrast. When you can see the bright, vibrant colours, you can see a few more dull ones together. You can see the overall picture and really appreciate the vibrancy of the paint. So that's why I don't mind adding a bit of grey. Just coming up around here with it. A little more down here. On the cheek. On this cheek. There we go. Beautiful girls all over the world. I could be chasing. Mine would be wasted. Just on around there like that. Perfect. <laughs> ASMR. Yeah, indeed. Need to grab a... Um, I've got a great microphone piece. Maybe we do that. A little ASMR session. Canvas. Put the microphone right here so every little brush stroke has this noisy scratch to it. Pretty fun. Or they 
vibration, like a little Bluetooth mic. I can attach the brush, and so it makes the full noise. That'd be pretty fun. <laughs> Do they make anything like that? Is that a thing? Because the brush would be the place to have it. Surely. There we go. A little more blue through it, guys. Don't abandon that color just yet. A little bit more through here. A little bit more up here. Add a sandcastle. Sibby, hello, Justin. Um, got to go for a bit. We'll be back soon this long. Um, we might not be around, Cheryl. I'm just here for a quick blast. Just want to join you guys today. Say hi and have a proper session probably tomorrow. But, um, if I'm not, it has been an absolute pleasure seeing you. Um, unfortunately, we don't have the ability to add a sandcastle to this one. We're using our anchor. Now, anchor is the picture. It's stopping us from going too wild. It's controlling the process in that it stops us from going full blown abstract. So, the law of the picture, if there, was any, if there was any rules, it would be that of following the picture to a T. You may not think it because how wild it is, but we can't just start putting paint where we think we want it to be. We're only putting it where we see it in the picture. Are we applying it messy? Yeah. Are we nailing it with every stroke? Uh, Maybe not, but uh, we're not making any of it up. And that's really important. The entire, every single brush stroke, every one of these weird and fibre little strokes is coming from that picture. There we go. <laughs> Beautiful girls all over the world. Just gonna keep building out this color. I love this blue, guys. It's got a real intense saturation to it. And we're just gonna add that around. Keep building up this depth. streaks through here. A little bit more down this very bottom part. Here we go. Noise. That's how we want it to be. Just like that. Just like that. A little bit more through here. Perfect. Looking good. Looking good. 
Let's have a look see here. 350. We've got a little bit more time up our sleeve, guys. We'll keep going for a little bit longer. Spend so much time here, there's no way you're not picking up part of my accent. Some of it must be sticking by now. Surely. Surely. <laughs> Go out to a text somewhere in Texas straight afterwards. He's like, what are you saying? it back into my tone of uh, baby blue, just a touch. There we go, beautiful. Stick around there like that. Just like that. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Matt, welcome. YouTube and Facebook, indeed. My day is good, thank you. And Matt, really appreciate it. You're an absolute champion. Thanks for the Kiwi. Um, yeah, there's YouTube, Facebook, and all the things. Ooh. Facebook's less exciting, though, because Facebook's just the... Uh, I don't really use the Facebook that much, so I just push the comments across from Instagram. That's what happens there. How often? Uh, I try to do a little bit of exercise every day, guys. A little walk. If you've got time, a little bit of yoga. Pilates. Stretch your body. I'm getting older now. <laughs> Not old, but... Uh, as you get older, you start to value things like stretching more than you value when you're a kid because you have that natural flexibility. So now focusing on things like stretching is quite wholesome. Um, why do I feel like you just listened to that song right before the session? What was the song? Oh, Beautiful Girls. No, I think I just got it stuck in my head during the session, but heck, now I don't know. <laughs> I'm southern and that's why I wanted to do it. I think when I do these more chill sessions, guys, and uh, take more time and slow down, I think my voice slows down as well. And it sort of just uh, drags out more. But that's awesome. Thanks for tolerating me. I appreciate it. Jax as a photographer, I agree. Here we go, come on around, there we go. Perfect. a wee bit of porridge though guys. When I say porridge I mean there'll be so much going on that actually our colours will start getting mixed together. <clears throat> we want the colours to go on with their own unique identity, not be too wet on wet, such that the other colours that are already there start combining too much. Here we go. Beautiful. 
lights off here. Up top. There we go. Perfect. Man would be racing, they got nothing to do with baby. Nothing to do with baby. I might say hi, they might say hey. I wouldn't worry about what they say. Here we go. Perfectos. Keep it coming, keep it coming. Hot potato, hot potato. I've just started following the uh, purple wiggle on TikTok. Pretty funny. Pretty good. Need to hear this. Sipping needs to know. Do you know Victoria and I? are right next to each other in the States. Wow. Wow. Small world, guys. Small world. Uh, in terms of being right next to each other, I guess you could say me and T are actually right beside each other too. Because she is in Hamilton and I'm in Todonga or Auckland. So we're less than, like, what is that T? One hour from Todonga and maybe one hour from Toronto, about two and a half from Auckland, is about right. Your work reminds me of an artist over here named Adrian Wiltshire. There we go. Adrian Wiltshire and Sid Gow. Just trying to have some fun and spread a little happiness. At least I think that's what he's trying to do as well. That's what I'm trying to do, guys. That's why I'm here. Here we go. A little bit extra through here. Perfect. True zip. Hour and a half. From all. Yeah. Yeah. So with that in mind, me and T are also neighbours. Like in terms of when you start looking at the states and see the size of the states, then you, you guys would feel like me and T were neighbours. You feel like we were really, really close. But that's because you're used to working with such massive distances. Huge states. And in New Zealand, everything's you know, six to eight hours away. Nothing really gets further than that. So. I might say hi, they might say hey, I wouldn't worry about what they say. I you got nothing on you, baby. Alrighty, tighty. I've just seen Galveston a few months ago. Galveston. That sounds pretty cool. That sounds pretty fun. We're in Texas. I'm near Oklahoma City. Just a bit more in the sky there. Right the way over the top. And around here. And through there. Perfect team. Just like that. There we go. Awesome. A little bit more through here. Perfect. A little bit more in here. And a little bit more through there. There we go. Nose. Forehead. Cheek. And chin. So remember what I say, guys, we're not acknowledging that they are nose, foreheads, cheeks, and chins. That's just me walking you through the areas and touching as I touch them. My eyes aren't seeing that, they're just seeing shapes. So important, so important. 
There we go. Right, that's our picture. It's not finished yet, but we've got so much paint on it at the moment that it just needs a little bit of time to dry so we can keep coming over it with new colours. What was really cool about that is the studio itself is a colder temperature today, which meant that uh, the paint didn't just dry overnight, so I was able to use the same paint trays twice over, which is fairly wholesome. Um, one thing I can do though, yeah, it should be popping pretty good. It still needs a bit more detail in these faces a little bit. Um, a little bit more, I think, uh, some greens and some purples and things. We can really pull this one into place. It's really coming together. Um, I'm always looking at it right now, guys, and then I'm, nah. Am I gonna get excited? Do I add some greens to it? I think I do. Oh, I'm gonna be naughty. I shouldn't. He shouldn't, but he wants to. <clears throat> We're gonna add some greens to it. I'm sorry, guys. Usually we should wait. Usually we should wait. Greens and purples. And the reason you'd wait is we're dried enough that the colours would go, every time I touched one of these previous colours we put on, it would just run over it rather than mixing into it. Now, me being the eager beaver I am, I'm at it right now. So, where do you think of placing it? Um, this one's going to go into a home. Uh, the man's name is Ricky, and these are his three kids. I love you, Roman. Appreciate it to know him, mate. Thank you very much. Um, so this is going to Ricky's home. This is for his, him and his family, representation of their kids. Um, and, but yeah, in terms of placement, it depends. With this one here, if it was unframed, it would want a lot of negative space around it. So a big, empty wall would be perfect. You wouldn't put something this detailed uh, under a, a, above a sideboard or something, because a sideboard would get objects on it, and the intensity of this painting, plus miscellaneous objects just below it, would be too much. And so if it sits on the wall by itself, with nothing underneath it or around it, that's when it gets easiest, because then you can actually appreciate the painting without being affected by a whole bunch of extra objects leaving in there. So. I hope that made sense. But basically, when you get this much intensity in the paint, you need to make sure the space around it chills it out, for lack of a better term. Makes it relax. Um, <clears throat> in terms of doing that for you, if I was to send this painting off, one way you can do it is frame it. So when the painting gets too intense, you add a white frame, about 20 mils around the edge, and that creates the balance no matter what space you put it in. Because before the painting becomes part of the environment it's in, it's a big empty area which isolates it and says, right, here's chaos inside this frame. And that containment um, allows us to relax more when viewing the art in any space. Hey Sib. Hey Mish. I'm doing very well, thank you. Appreciate you asking. I'll need to access your Spotify data to do this. <laughs> no, sorry, it's fine. Okay, I won't. <laughs> Come on, Siri. Poor old Siri listening to me talk non-stop all day too. Didn't the lights down very low? Here we go. Here we go. You're so beautiful. You're like a waitress. 
frequently get flooded comp with stuff in my head here too, guys. Can't help it. There we go. Shouldn't be doing this. I can't help myself. Temptation was too much, team. Too much. Sheesh. <laughs> Noisy so serious are always listening. Yes, she is. Yes, she is. Here we go. Now this paint here is really interesting, guys, because it's actually acrylic paint, but I don't need to add a compound into it because this one's got a slight satin finish already inside the paint. So it will retain a bit of its shine, not as much as maybe adding a gloss gel into the paint would, but enough that uh, makes the paint pop off the page. Perfect. Perfect. There we go. Just coming on here with that. All right. We're making some good ground here. I'm just going to keep adding these purples in, see where it takes me. like that. Down here by the feet. Add some ripples down here. Just like that. There we go. A little bit around here. A little bit around here. Come on down here as well. Purple's landing really well, guys. We don't want you to hit it ourselves and uh, start thinking that we're too cool for school and that we can land any stroke at the moment. We can quickly <clears throat> start losing ground. So we want to do the purple, but not overdo the purple. Perfect. Come on around there. Right. Purple off the brush. Moving on to green. Have any song wrecks for today, Seb? I need more music to listen to. Um, yeah. One playlist I've been loving recently is Painting Flow. It's one of my, it's technically my playlist, but I stole it from a friend who had already made it. You know, it was literally the perfect painting playlist. So Painting Flow is a bunch of songs that put you in the mood for painting. And one I love actually is called Van Gogh. By Brad, I think. Brad someone. Great song. But um King of Bohemia, love that song. King of Bohemia is actually, <coughs> put that one at the top, King of Bohemia. Starts off with this girl whistling to, she's not whistling, she's singing, but uh, it's a great duet, it's a great duet. Flowers by Miley Cyrus. I can buy myself flowers, yeah. Let's agree with that, that's a good song. I do find it funny though, in saying that uh, 
you got the Bruno, the Bruno Mars song where he's like, I should have bought you flowers, should have held your hand. And Miley's talking about buying herself flowers. That's <laughs> just funny. Two songs. Um, and yes, I'm still here till I lose service, not driving. Oh, hello. Fair enough. I'm just going to add a little bit more of the screen, guys, but it's bleeding a little bit too much with the other colours. We want it to be raw. It's getting a little bit of a mix on with it. It's okay. It's okay. It's manageable, but we won't go too deep with it. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Just a little bit more. Just a little bit more. There we go. Beautiful. I say, you guys, I'm starting to really like this painting now. But this is why we don't stop on it. We keep building. Because what we want is to make sure we love it before it leaves the studio. It's so important. So important. sorted. We are sorted. Alright team, I was on the seventh row of Bruno Mars at concert. Wow, Justin, congratulations. Darnette Kennedy is your fave? Good, good. I've been heavily into Hunter Hayes. Yes, I like that. Hunter Hayes is good. I'll always be a Kip Moore fan, but there's nothing wrong with Hunter Hayes. Roman, thanks for the bouquet of roses. Love you to bits. You're absolute champions, guys. And thank you so much, Vicar. Hey guys, that's enough on this one now. If we keep going at it, these colors are gonna keep mixing and our greens will mix into our reds, into our oranges, into our blues. And what will happen when that happens is they won't have their own unique identity. They'll be actually mixing and losing the saturation of color with the other ones on the page. So we have to wait for it to dry a little bit before we can come back and hit it with some more. When we hit it with some more, white and black are going to play a massive role because they'll start actually pulling some things into their final positions. I know I've talked about that a lot with this piece, but it wants a little bit more. All right. And guess I'll listen to some more Kim Moore. Do it. Kim Moore's great. Um, favorite song? Love You to the Moon. Huge fan. Huge fan. Um, thanks, Justin. I appreciate that. Yeah, I'm really starting to fall for this painting. Um, me and this painting got off to a rough start, but uh, now it's really starting to become something special. So that's awesome. Um, guys, that's going to be the end of today's session. Um, when I come back, I've got a couple of canvases that have been made right now. So for the three commissions we're going to be cracking into early February, those canvases will be arriving and they've protected boxes and all the things, and we can start their process from start to finish on the stream. This is the last piece of art um, that's in the shop, still need to be worked on um, for the January period. So it's pretty exciting. And it's not too far off, guys. I'm really getting a good feeling of this painting. There's more strokes I want to add to it, but there's lots of areas that I'm starting to love and feel like they're complete. So. That's fantastic. Um, thank you, yeah, no, no, Victoria, thank you to you. Thanks, Victoria, thanks, T, and thank you, Cheryl, um, and everyone else. Uh, yes, I'm taking Shelby out to Avatar 2, so I'll let you know what I make of that, and we'll go from there. All the best, guys. I'll catch you later. Bye.